it's running a WordPress theme that makes it look this way that we customize slightly so that it's very simple and we got up and running fast. Um, it's running a couple of plugins like BuddyPress is a plugin. So WordPress comes with a teaming system which means we can make WordPress look like anything and it also comes with a plugin uh, architecture which means that lots of developers around the world just like Facebook and so on you can build <coughs> plugins. So you can build a plugin, you can sell this plugin commercially or you can actually just give it a um, downloadable for free and make money in other ways like contributions and advertising and so on. So there is probably around 20,000 plugins for WordPress so you can kind of do anything and again I suppose the difference between maybe an amateur site and, and just as we dive into this a little bit and maybe a professional site is that straight away you know people launch a WordPress site and they're like oh, I want a weather widget you know on my website and I want you know these kind of things that you know look cool for about 30 seconds and then people like people want to know the weather they're not going to look up your site so unless it's a weather website so you have to be careful that there's so <coughs> many extensions so many plugins that you stay focused because you guys you know will have access today to do a lot of this stuff but your website needs to you know this is one of the things Imogen mentioned about target audience websites have a focus and all websites who don't usually fail regardless of how pretty they look or how the brand looks and so on so every website has a focus eBay, auction stuff, Amazon sells books 